Hello and welcome to the Bane Picks video for the Myrtle Beach Bowl. I'm your host from Lamps.com, Matthew Amato, joined here by Jacob Wayne. We got UConn versus Marshall in this one. UConn, it seems like it's been a while since they've been in a bowl game. Their football program really, I feel like, a, took a step forward this year. And quite a few of these programs, like UConn, Vanderbilt, that people were projecting to be in the trash, looked a lot better this year than projected. But it is not stopping the bookmakers from creating a 10-point spread in favor of of Marshall in this game and quickly before we get into the bang picks something we're doing for all these bowl games is I'm heading over to the college football bowl game page on lineups to show you the transfer portal the opt-outs and the player injuries for the game and this page has been written and created by Jacob Wayne he's updating it throughout the week he's literally updating it as we speak as there's more news for all these games um, not a ton going on in this game Nathan Carter transfer portal for UConn some injuries with Cam Ross and Keelan Marion um, but you're saying Keelan could return, and then for Marshall, only the DN, Emmanuel Balogun, is in the transfer portal. So, J or Jacob, you wrote the page. I'll let you speak to it a little bit more in depth. If there's anything there we should be worried about or take into consideration for this game. Uh, now, this, this transfer portal names aren't, aren't too important to the final outcome here. Uh, Nathan Carter was their starting running back for UConn to start the season, but he's been out since September, and they've been fine as a rushing offense without him. Robert Burns and Victor Reza have been kind of the one-two punch, and then Zion Turner, their quarterback, has been kind of a dual threat for them. Um, their passing offense has been anemic, and that's kind of the concern here against Marshall's defense. Uh, Marshall has just an excellent defense overall. Um, part of the reason they were able to go into uh, Notre Dame and, and upset them earlier this year, but um, the return of those two receivers could help a ton for UConn in terms of you know finding some explosive passing plays just to just to have a little bit more of a balanced offense. Um, you know, I don't think they're going to be lighting up the scoreboard here, but you're looking at an over-under of 41 points, and automatically that's going to make me very intrigued and a dog of 10.5 points here. But I, I just – this UConn team has been a wagon all season. Um, fourth best cover rate in the country this year. It really just out overdoing – like outproducing everybody's expectations. Jim Morris, first year as a head coach, 9-3 and three against the spread overall. And – Jim Mora has fared well in bowl games, 2-2 two two career record, and I just think UConn's going to be the more motivated team here. Um, you know, Marshall kind of didn't live up to their expectations in their conference, whereas UConn, I don't think anybody was projecting them to make a bowl game before the year, and I think their their whole fan base and you know their, their players are going to be fired up for this opportunity. So, motivational aspect, I think UConn has an edge, and you know, this, this Marshall defense is great, but their offense really hasn't been anything to write home about, and UConn does rank very well in, in terms of limiting explosiveness. They rank 10th in terms of limiting explosive plays, which is huge. And Marshall is at 120th in the country in offensive explosiveness. So I think you're going to see a very run-heavy approach. Kalen LeBourne has been awesome for Marshall this year. But ultimately, I just think you're going to see a lower-scoring game. And I'm happy to take the points with a team that's covered at such a high rate and really just been a fun team to root for all season. This one is, the f I feel like, the first game that we've covered where I'm truly split, where my analytical brain wants me to go Marshall. Um, I mean, right now, as we're talking, the UAB Miami game's going on, and me picking a 10-point favor in that one doesn't look too good right now. But the part of me that thinks about what happened last year when I did all the bowl games with Jason, what I just know based off bowl games, with the way UConn's been playing as of late, with the over-under 41, it seems like all the betting trends would tell you UConn at plus 10 is a stupid value. Like, they're going to be motivated. These bowl games end up being closer than you think. Uh, there shouldn't be a ton of points in this one. So, I mean, they're projecting this score to be 25-15, you know, around there. They're just not projecting UConn to put up almost any points. And uh, it's so tough because I really do think, like, Marshall minus 10 and the under slight value. But it's the fact that this is a bowl game <laughs> makes me think UConn plus 10 and maybe even the overs where the actual value is going to end up being so. For betting purposes, when I looked into this game, it's just nothing stuck out enough for me for, to, for me to really go with either side. I'm just going to default to what Jacob said as I think UConn's going to be more motivated. I think the fact that this is a bowl game and the fact that it should be lower scoring all points to UConn being a, a bigger value, but it's not an official play for me at all. So that that's it. I mean, Marshall's offense, I do want to say, even though it has been anemic, there has been slight... There, there's been times throughout the season where I'm like, this offense does not look as bad as it's rated. 
I just don't know if you're going to get that here in this game. But if you do, if you even get a glimpse of it, that's why I'm really scared of Bain UConn because they're still 117th by defensive FEI according to Football Outsiders. I mean, they're in the hundreds for both offensive and defensive rankings. They've just been playing better and getting better results than their actual team efficiency would show. So it, I, I honestly feel like the line should be at 14. That's why it's like I want to go with Marshall. Uh, it's so tough. Talk me out of it, Jacob. No, I mean, I, I think if you look at the numbers, the Marshall defense is definitely the best unit on the field in this game. It's um, not even close. They deserve a ton of credit for what they've done this season. And, um, I mean, nobody even ran for 200 yards on this defense all season, I believe. So it, it's 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 mostly just like my feeling that my gut feeling that UConn's going to come into this game with more fire and more emotion and more passion. And, I mean, that's not the most analytical way to approach this game, but I, I just think that it means more to that team and you know I think a couple of turnovers in the way of UConn could um, end up swinging this game but ultimately I think it's just it's a it's a big enough spread that I'm willing to to ride with a dog here and what should be a bit of a lower scoring game and I think enough coaching advantage for UConn with Jamora and the, the return of those two receivers could be big as well so ultimately it's not like one of my favorite leans of the season, but I was probably going to bet on UConn no matter who they played in their bowl game, just because of how how great they've been this season uh, against the spread. And you know, it's been a fun year, up and coming year for this program. And I think they can be a live dog in this game. Uh, no pun intended. So, I I want to clarify a little bit earlier because I actually think the part that's really splitting me here is like in in every which ways, the fact that it's a bowl game makes me think there might be more points scored than the than what you would imagine with this Marshall defense and this, honestly, U- UConn defense against a bad Marshall offense, um, which makes it that I feel like the default of plus 10 is no longer as big of a value. But the fact that it's also a bowl game makes me feel like, like you said, UConn's just going to come out with a lot more fire. This is a huge game for their program. If they win this, like, I mean, it could swing a couple of those, you know, lower star recruits that they're trying to get to build up this program. Oh, uh, man. I, it's just an absolute no bet for me. I think... Like you said, if you want to have fun, bet on the dog, bet on UConn, root for root for this underdog team to, to cover the spread. But in terms of actual betting analysis, I'm just absolutely sticking away from uh, from this one for now. Yeah, I think it's totally fair. Um, I think, yeah, I, mean, I don't really have too much more to add, but uh, give me the dog here and I'll take the points of UConn. I will say, um, no. I came. I was gonna say maybe there would be some team total value when those lines come out because we we're not gaining it. But I, honestly, there's not. There just I gotta you gotta learn sometimes. Even as someone who's trying to put out content for every single bowl game, sometimes you're not gonna have much to say, and that that's gonna be the yeah. case for this one. So yeah, I, I would say up. too. Like if you want to wait, I mean it's it's really true for all these bowl games because of motivation is such a huge factor. If you want to wait and just kind of feel it out and see how this game starts and like who looks like they actually care. <laughs> It sounds silly, but like it really does matter. So if you want to wait and kind of just feel it out, what the vibes are like that, like I, there's no there's no shame in waiting for a, a number live and like just kind of seeing how it starts and and getting a feel for where these programs are. So exactly. All right. So again, if you want to get the update info, check out the college football bowl game page on lineups where all the injury opt out and transfer news will be there, updated by Jacob as we are recording these a couple days in advance. Um, the link will be down in the description. Hit the like button if you like this video, dislike if you didn't. Comment down below your favorite bets. Maybe you guys have some better analysis than even we were able to provide, and you guys can go find each other in the comment section, hopefully help one another out. And again, hit that subscribe button. We'll be covering every single bowl game this December and January, and we uh, hope to see you for the next one very soon.